what is up my friends so after months after days and after hours of waiting people we finally got the battle of winterfell many people were speculating what was going to happen who was going to die what the implications would be would the night king reign supreme would it take more than an episode to kill him well my friends we're like about three episodes from the finale of course, it's not going to take another episode. This had to happen in one episode. It was an hour and 20 minutes for that reason. Well, more like an hour and 30. But you know what I mean. So, we finally got it. And, I mean, we all saw it. Even if we had to squint because it was so damn dark. We saw the amazingness of 55 days of shooting this immense battle. Which is what it took them to film. And I'm on being serious. Look this shit up. It took 55 days for this one, um, like, battle, so it had to deliver, and for the most part, it did. Many people are upset, whatever that may be. Let's just go right into the ending. Arya fucking kills the Night King. What the fuck? I mean, did anybody else see that coming? And it feels like Jon Snow was, like, preparing himself. He was ready, he was going to do this, and then, boom, out of nowhere, left field. Fucking Arya is the one that takes out the Night King and pretty much leaves us with the biggest question the whole series had, which is who will get the Iron Throne now? So yeah, I think it was pretty interesting and a pretty wild curveball for the show to do, but it definitely makes sense because Arya had been training for so long and then building the weapon, all of that. It definitely gives her character a good... um closing of the arc for her to definitely see her finally um like everything comes to a culmination and she is the one who ultimately defeats the night king but i don't know what do you think about that did you like that did you not did you think that was a cop-out or did you think that was just like too random you let me know your thoughts below i'm really curious to know what everybody thinks about this because it's pretty uh, rampant thing people are talking about on Twitter and many people are pretty much pissed or many people are pleased and many people are just like I don't even know what to think right now let me know your thoughts below about that but if we see the uh, next trailer for the next episode we see that things are starting to get uh, in motion for who will definitely get the Iron Throne and it's going to be interesting to see who like how is this all going to play out there's three episodes left less than four hours um, to wrap the whole um, series up. So I'm pretty interested in seeing what's going to um, happen the next couple of episodes. What do you think, though? Who is definitely going to be sitting on that Iron Throne at the end of this uh, show? Let me know in the comments below. And how pleased were you with Winterfell? Was it everything you expected? Or was it just not that much? Like, you weren't that pleased with it. I mean, something that builds up so much hype definitely will let some people down. But let me know your thoughts. I'd like to know. Anyways, make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already. 7,000, 10,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. And if you haven't already, hit that like, hit that like, comment, share, all that good stuff. More Avengers videos coming this week. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Stay positive, my friends.